previously on Mary Skelter Nightmares. We fought our way through the graveyard and encountered many marchants, puzzles, and traps along the way. Eventually, we find Thumbelina in the deep recesses of the graveyard, with the graveyard core right next to her. Unfortunately, she was guarded by a strong marchant which we had to defeat. And after reuniting with Thumbelina and destroying the graveyard core, we attracted the attention of the graveyard nightmare, which we had no choice but to face. After a grueling battle with all five blood maidens, Jack passed out due to overexertion. However, luckily the group was able to evacuate Jack and return to the dawn. Alright, so I was going to go do the investigation thing, but then I checked in here and everything has an event. And then when you go to li the living quarters, everything has an event. So yeah, I feel like it would be remiss of me not to do this. So I guess this episode is going to be all about getting to know the girls more. You know, I I'm pretty sure this is going to take forever. <laughs> Knowing how long the dialogue is, so let's just do this one at a time. Uh, so tired. Being anemic is such a pain. Um, Jack, are you in here? Ah, Snow White, what's the matter? Well, you used a lot of blood, so I came to visit to make sure you were okay. You came to see me because of that? Yes, I hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all, thank you. It's nice to know someone's worried about me. You do realize Alice is worried about you 24-7. Why are you all like this with Snow White? Oh, where are my manners? Let me get you some tea. Uh, please stay still, Jack. The Snow White will get the tea ready. Uh, are you sure? Thanks, you're so kind. Uh, it's nothing. It's all part of coming to visit and make sure you're okay. What did you do? Did you spill hot water on Jack? Yikes! <laughs> okay. She's not just the nice, nice one. She's also the clumsy one. I'm gonna keep this in mind. Snow White is the clumsy, clumsy archetype. Hot, 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 hot. Uh, are you okay? No, you, you just poured scalding water on me. I'm pretty sure I'm not okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you really okay? Maybe I can get a little more ice for you. Uh, I'm fine. It's just a burn, you know, just a burn. Compared to what we go through in battle, this is nothing. Uh, I did it again. Snow White is so useless. Again? Is she clumsy or something? Uh, I guess that's what the game's going for, so I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, don't worry about it. Let's enjoy some tea together. I'll go make some more tea for us. Uh, thank you very much. You really are kind, Jack. Do you think so? But you're really kind too. Also, technically, Jack, you're also clumsy. So, because you, you kind of bumped into that girl in the hallway the other day. Uh, Snow White is a plain girl. Sister Thumbelina, Sleepy, Sister Red are all unique. Unlike me. I suppose, but she's making it sound like they're just oddballs. <laughs> to be fair, they are kind of odd. They are they are oddballs compared to Snow White. And I don't think the others would translate very well into real life people, so yeah. Um, but I'm not very unique compared to them either. Really? Well, their personalities are very distinct in a good way. Compared to them, I'm just... Jack! Yes, let us plain, pe <laughs> plain people do our best. Plain people unite. Who's a uh, huh? Us plain? I'm so happy I have someone like me now. This is sounding to sound really bad. I hope we can get along even better. Uh, yeah, same here. What kind of group am I a part of now? Oh boy, affection. Oh, okay, so these are like our affection levels. Uh, wow, zero for Thumbelina, huh? I tried giving gifts to each of them. I guess that's why I have this small bar down here. Um, anyway, let's continue on with the events. I have an event in my room again. Uh, sure, let's just keep going with our room.
Who's it this time? Man, who could it be at this hour? A memo on the door? On the door? What the? No one's around. Alice? He isn't there to hide the secret now. What could it mean? He isn't there to hide the secret. Are we talking about the professor? No one was around by the time I found this. I guess whoever it was wanted to stay anonymous. The wording was probably vague on purpose. I wonder who it's from and who is this he in here? I'm pretty sure it's a professor because the professor is the only one that looks like he's hiding something, you know. I'm sure it means to search inside the dawn. Yeah, probably. This all feels too weird, but let's search around a bit. Okay. Oh, uh, this feels like a bigger deal than I was expecting, but okay, let's just go straight to the point. Damn, look at this. So, like... It's pink in this world, right? But that's a like pure blood in a cylinder. Uh, looks the same as usual. A lot of books and things are all over the place. Yeah, it looks like the experimental devices are all cleaned up. Why, why, do, why do I feel like there's more to this? I don't see anything noticeable around the desk, too. I feel like a robber. Maybe we shouldn't have snuck in like this. Alice? I wonder what's back there. This is a strange screen po positioned behind that device. You're right. I'm surprised I haven't noticed that before. Maybe it's because the lamp around there kept her eyes on the other stuff instead. Oh, so hiding something in plain sight, I see. Well, you know, the laboratory was kind of an obvious place to keep a secret. Is this a cat skeleton? Huh, anyway. I see, so we noticed now because the lamps are off. And what did they find? A door! Let's see what's inside. Okay. What is this place? Can we get a CG? Thank you. Oh, what? What? TV room? Look at all these monitors. Is that an area inside the jail? Yeah, it looks like there are various display areas on display here. Uh, why would someone make a room like this? To monitor the whole jail, I guess. But, you know, you needed to get someone to, you know, install the camera. So, I think this is going to lead to a bigger secret than just a bunch of TVs in a room. I don't know, but I feel as if whoever left that message wanted us to find this place. Uh, let's check around. Uh, shouldn't you be worried about the professor coming back? In the first place, why are there monitors in each of the areas? I don't recall seeing any cameras around. Hidden cameras? Oh, maybe these are the eyes! These are all the eyes we've been seeing! Well, even if there were, what for? Maybe they're there to make sure we're safe? But if that's the case, it wouldn't hurt to let us know that. It would reassure us, too. I suppose. I can't seem to th stop thinking of what's really going on. Maybe we can ask the professor. Look, if it was a secret, then obviously the professor wouldn't want you knowing. Maybe not. We're trespassing after all. I guess. If this is supposed to be a secret, then it's dangerous for us to take action on this now. You're right. Let's keep this to ourselves until we have more information. I think that's a good idea, too. Who and what is this control room for, anyway? It's probably the eyes. I'm calling it now. All right, so let's go to Alice's room. Oh, it's just the hallway. I was confused for a second there. Who is it? Oh, it's you, Jack. Can I bother you for a moment? Yes, please come in. Do you really wear the, that outfit the whole time? <laughs> it feels a bit weird visiting her like this. So, how's the new room? Compared to the prison cell, much better. Nothing could have been worse than when, where we were. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry for the weird question. But how can I wear this? 
Doesn't this place look a bit drab? I mean, your room is kind of a lot worse than this. Drab? Yeah, it's your room now, so why not decorate the place? I, I'm not the type to decorate. Also, I'm pretty sure none of you have the sense to decorate because you lived in a prison for so long. Uh, really? Well, then I guess they were outside of the prison for a while. Alice was never into those kinds of things. I guess you could say she's not into show showcasing. Well, without what she's been through, I don't blame her. That aside, are you okay, Jack? Yeah, I'm fine. You know how quickly my bleeding stops, right? Uh, weird. <laughs> weird thing to bring up. Yeah, let's see, look at her face. You just made her more worried, bro. Yes, of course. I remember those times I used to feel angry and I'd bite onto your finger for your blood. Yeah, and then I just started to cut my finger for you. Uh, I sucked on it almost like it was a pacifier. Uh, I, I mean, I had no weird intentions when I did that, you know. Hey, you're the one making it weird right now. Y yeah, I know. Seeing Alice making... Seeing Alice blush is making me blush too. Whatever the reason, licking your blood seemed to calm me down. I felt as if my anger melted away. And I've been reliant on you ever since then. I wonder if Alice is still regretting going into Blood Skelter. Alice, why don't we stop the conversation here? I'm sorry. Actually, I'm proud that I've been able to help you in some way. That's a little weird, Jack. Nah, I kind of get it, though. It's not weird. Jack. I really hated myself for not being of any use. Uh, that's not true. Not even a little. Let's just find our way out of here together, okay? Uh, Alice, you're right. Let's escape from here together. Right, it's a promise. What is it? Um, let's try to give you some gifts. Uh, so what What did we just learn? What did we just learn? She's kind of plain. She's not much for decoration and, she, and she's not a showboater. What does she like? She likes Jack. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got. Um, but how, how shall we put Alice? Alice is class. She doesn't, she doesn't showcase like, um, Jack said, but she has class. So, pencil lipstick? Probably not. Clean tourniquet. Who would want, oh wait, you, you want to protect Jack, right? And Jack is always bleeding, right? So would you want this? I always wanted this. Yeah. Okay. That seemed like a big affection thing. Can I give you more? I always wanted this. Okay, so there's no downside in just spamming it. All of it. <laughs> in one go. Okay. Uh I'll I'll up I'll, I'll try to figure out the uh, the rest of what Alice wants off camera. Okay, Red Riding Hood, what do you have to say? I forgot you were in this outfit. Uh, I'm coming in, Red Riding Hood. Hey, you sound pretty tense. Come right in. Uh, look at all those training tools. So, Jack, feeling better? I think so. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble. Seriously, that's quite a thing Haru made for you. Oh, uh, um, well, I asked him to make a weapon for me, and he ended up making me the merry gun. Why don't you have a seat? You need to take things a bit easier. Here, sit next to me. Wow, that's pretty forward. Okay. Uh, Red Riding Hood's bed smells just like her. And what would that smell be? I gotta hand it to you for using that thing without a second thought. Once a Blood Maiden enters Blood Skelter, they can never return. There's no way to stop it. That's why we fought with the fear of Blood Skelter looming over us. Red Riding Hood. We kept retreating. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Thinking there was no way to beat a nightmare, which is why we're all still here. Though, now that you're with us, I really think we've got a shot at getting out of here. Uh, I didn't. The resolve you showed makes me want to respond in kind. We're all gonna get out of here. I've constantly been protected by Alice, and I hated myself watching her get hurt each time. 
And even after I came here, you protected me while I did nothing. I was so pathetic. I don't know you felt that way, Jack. Uh, that's why I'm happy I'm finally able to do something for everyone. Of course, I did get dizzy and knock myself out. <laughs> gotcha. Don't worry, you're at one of us now. So again, welcome to the dawn. Uh, yes. Thank you, Red Riding Hood. For someone who uses a weapon like that, her hand is so soft. Oh, she grabbed Jack's hand, I'm guessing. <laughs> ha ha. All right, then. Hmm? Let's get some runs in. You'll need to train yourself up. You're going to be our blood back. <laughs> Don't put it that way, but even though it's so true. What? <laughs> Come on, get up, hurry. Wait, I don't think I can follow through today. Yeah, he's kind of, you know, just recu recuperating. Hmm? What's the matter? All right, so what would, what did we learn about her? Genki likes exercising. Uh, what, what does that mean in terms of items? All right, so nothing looks like something a Genki girl would like. Maybe, it, maybe she really does like the ruptured beach ball. I'll take that. I mean, she looks fine with it, but you know, well, what else is in here anyway? Definitely not lipstick. I don't think you're the lipstick type. Burnt pan. Somehow makes food taste better. So you go to whoever the cook is. You go whoever the artist is. A candle shaped like a tulip with the pleasant fragrance of one too. Didn't Jack comment on how the bed smells? So maybe Alice, Red Riding Hood is, is a scent person? Whoa, pretty good. She seemed to like that. I am going to take that as enough. Anyway, we'll fig I'll figure that the rest out off camera. So what's Thumbelina? Well, she's a tsundere. <laughs> anyway, let, let's just do this. So this is Thumbelina's room. I better go knock before I go in. Uh, Thumbelina... Are you here? Um, sorry. Were, were you busy? Uh, I, I didn't say that. Mm, you're you're letting the cold air in, so just come inside. Uh, okay then. Uh, coming in. Yeah, biggest tsundere on the planet. Ooh, maybe maybe I should have saved the flower for you, cause you have a flower lamp over here, and vines, vine motifs. Whoa. Yeah, see, and your room smells good. I should have given you the candle instead. Uh, by the way, uh, are you okay? Shouldn't you be resting or something? Uh, thanks. Uh, I think I'm okay now. Sorry to have worried you. Uh, I, I wasn't worried at all, Baka. Uh, what brings you here? <laughs> oh, um, I was worried about you too. Uh, I mean, you were captured, Thumbelina. Huh. <laughs> That's none of your business. I'm not some wimp, you know. Uh, oh, uh, I see. That's good then. Well, I do appreciate that you're thinking about me. Mm -mm. Thanks, Baka. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can hear the Baka, even though they're so stupid in the lines. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. She's a bit rough with her words, but she's really a nice person. Well, to be honest, they didn't do anything to me. Nani? They did rough me up a bit. I mean, to be honest, in the battle, you got roughed up like four times. I had to revive you like four times. But they didn't exactly torture me. I guess you could call it lucky. Ah, I see. Alice and I were tortured when we were captured. What's different about her situation? Probably the uniform. That aside... Huh? <laughs> If you want to apologize, you should apologize for treating me like a younger sister. Oh, you're not an Emoto character. I, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be careful next time. Fine. I guess I can let you go this time. Oh, and I'm sorry if I hit you. Huh? Oh, oh that's okay. I'm officially a member now. So, um, I hope we can get to know each other better, Thumbelina. Ugh. Quit it with the formalities. I can tell that you're not used to that kind of thing. It creeps me out. Uh, okay. 
Well then, looking forward to working with you, Thumbelina. Huh, just so you know, we're about the same age, so I'm just going to call you Jack, got it? Uh, of course. Wait, what? We're about the same age? Really? Oh no. Jack, you're digging yourself into a hole into a hole again. Oh boy. You're gonna get her mad again. But just just accept what she has to say. Uh, you're surprised about that? Oh well not in any way that, that would mean something negative. The next time you say something strange, you're seriously gonna get it. Uh, I'm so sorry, Thumbelina. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, I would better watch out next time. But she's a lot friendlier than I thought. Hmm? Huh? What's the matter? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, have a, I'm a, I have a soft spot for Tsundere's. For some reason. Anyway, I don't think I have anything you want. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> No ways! Thanks! Oh, okay, I found it! Cheap poultice, but why? An ordinary poultice used to hear wounds. Isn't this more of an Alice thing? Oh, if you, she likes it. Not, not for me to question, right? Is Sleeping Beauty asleep? Oh, she's not asleep. There's just no event here. I see. Anyway, so it's been a few minutes. I've, been, I've just been trying to experiment on what they like. And the general store was selling a natural, like, natural desk, natural bed. Uh, so I kind of decided to give it to Snow White. Because she's the one that said, oh, I'm so plain, I'm so ordinary, let's be ordinary together. And it seemed like she liked every single one of them. I'm actually curious if I can give her something else. And, w like, would it change? Actually, let's try that now. What if I give her a princess this? How wonderful! Would it actually change? Very good. Oh, it would. So you can actually just decorate the rooms however they want. I mean, you want. All right, let's go through these events one by one. Welcome. Laboratory talk. Oh, it's just a talk event. Then I guess every I, I guess everything was a talk event. I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> what the? A merchant's voice from inside the laboratory. The professor. Uh, professor, are you all right? Ah, uh, Jack, what seems to be the problem? Huh? Where's the merchant? Merchant? That merchant. Did you hear that? Huh? Ah, oh, you mean that? A uh, merchant? M Miko, what's going on here? Oh, Jack, why are you here? Wait, you're examining the margin? Isn't it dangerous? Why, yes, that's exactly why we have it strapped down. It can't harm us. And it seems like you have a chainsaw. Are you chainsawing the margin? Can I have a chainsaw? <laughs> that would make Jack so much more useful. Uh. Ah, my dear Marchin, it'll be quick, so stay nice and still. Why are you smiling? That doesn't help. You know, you're, you're getting creepier by the day, Professor. And Miko's like, oh, here he goes again. <laughs> good, good, we're done. It didn't hurt, did it? You did well, my dear Marchin. Uh, yeah, you're getting kind of creepy. Uh, Professor, the sample extraction is complete. Uh, thank you, Miko. Once we analyze the sample, report the results to me. Understood. Hopefully the results will help us learn more about the mysteries of the jail. Um, I'll excuse myself for now. I'm sorry for barging in earlier. Well, see you later, Jack. Uh, yes, I'm sorry to have worried you, Jack. Oh, that's right. I'm not ready yet, but there is a favor I wanted to ask from you. A favor? Can you stop by the laboratory again later? Here? Yes. Are there any other laboratories, Jack? Yes, and it can be when you have the time. When I'm ready, I'll give you more details. Understood. I'll come by again later. Sounds like a side quest. You may need to try a few times, but there's a hot cup of tea in it for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Understood. 
try a few more times. What does that mean? Do I just keep guessing when he's gonna tell me? Oh, wow. Red Riding Hood. Hey, Jack, what you doing standing around here like that? Uh, Red, Red Riding Hood? Well, I was... And he tells everything. Tells Red Riding Hood everything. Huh, I see. I know it sounds kind of strange, but... Oh, Dad seemed weird, right? Like some sort of mad scientist? Yeah, actually. Well, not really, but... <laughs> Dad is usually like that when it comes to the jail or the merchants. I mean, he is a research nut, so to speak. I wonder if all researchers are like that. Well, is there anything else? All anime researchers are like that. Oh, look, we have another talk event. Might as well. Uh, Professor, it's me, Jack. So much for trying again. We literally just had to do it the exact next time. The uh, Jack, what timing? I was just about to call you here. Is it about that favor you wanted to ask? Indeed. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, but I just finished my preparations. No problem at all. What is this? Is this some super secret side quest? Now then, can you go to the rescue center? Miko will give you the details. Understood. What are they planning to do there? And don't worry, we just need some blood samples. We didn't have the proper equipment earlier. Uh, understood. I'll head to the rescue center. Uh, just blood samples. That's not so bad. I thought they were planning some huge experiment. Uh, Miko, it's me, Jack. The professor told me to come and see you. Alice? Uh, you too, Jack. Uh, Alice, you're here too? Yes, uh, the professor told me to come here to give a blood sample. Hold on for just a moment. Let me make some space. Unbelievable. I can't believe he sent you both over when I'm not even finished preparing yet. Uh, okay, done. Both of you, can you sit over there? Uh, sure. Is this the tutorial for purging? Now then, your arms. Let me just get some blood samples. Um, sure. What are these blood samples for? Huh? Didn't he tell you? No, he just said he needed some my blood sample. Same here. Uh, unbelievable. It's not right you don't know the reasons for the sampling. Let me explain instead. We're currently working on developing an antibody that could counter corruption. An antibody to counter corruption? Is that something that can be made from my blood? Uh, no, we wish to develop an antibody that produces the same effect as the ones found in your blood. So, it's like a vaccine for corruption, basically. Um, then what is my blood for? Jack's antibodies exhibit stable effects when used on a particular blood maiden. That's you, Alice. I see. We'll need the best samples for testing. A working antibiotic may help alleviate the load for Jack. Um, but isn't it faster to just extract the antibodies in my blood? You know, he has a point there. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is true, but it's not like you have all the blood in the world to spare. Again, you know, like I mentioned back in one of the earlier episodes, you should just hook up Jack to some machine and then sit him down and then like he becomes like a, a permanent blood factory or something. Like you just siphon the exact min- I mean, you just leave enough blood for him to survive, but you siphon everything else until they get out of the jail. <laughs> kind of morbid, but you know. Uh, exactly. You need to take better care of yourself. Now then, let's get this done, shall we? Okay. I'm gonna take a bit more than usual. Don't move. Does it hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm used to it. Yeah, to be fair, you know, you kind of shoot your blood out of a gun, so... I'm sorry we have to have you go through this so often. No, that wasn't what I was implying. Yeah, he kind of fights by tossing his blood all around the place. And it is to help develop the antibiotic. R right. I wouldn't expect answers anytime soon if I were you. It will take some time to develop. I'm sure we could offer you more direct support if we spent this time differently. What, what do you mean? 
Are you regretting that you're doing research instead of being on the front lines? Hang on, that, that no, no, not auto, not auto. That was a weird. Hang on, can I go back? I, I want to be sure I understood this correctly. I'm sure we could offer you more direct support. Oh, I'm sure we could offer more direct support to you all if we spent this time differently. Ah, uh, it feels like she's kind of regretting have, having to do tests and not helping them in the front lines. Or maybe I'm just completely misunderstanding it. Uh, let's see, these are for the professor. Huh? The, are they gonna use their blood for something else? What's a professor planning to use her blood for? I don't know, you'll have to ask the professor that. Now then, I should put the samples through a gas chromatography first. <laughs> can't, can't say the word quickly. Better do it before the professor asks. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, not at all. I'm sorry if it sounded like I was complaining, but... Sometimes I'm scared to find out what he really wants to know. Miko? Yeah, okay, so the professor definitely is the one keeping all the secrets. Well, I'll do what I can to support you, so thanks and get a good night's rest. Is there anything else? That's it? Th th that's all... Kind of ominous, but okay. Um, I should swap some of, some of these. Anyway, so I decided not to change anyone's job for now because I don't even have the CP to take advantage of any new skills I unlocked, so I felt it was kind of pointless. Anyway, let's go look at the other events. I wonder what Haru wants with me. The Marigon made it a lot safer for everyone to fight the Marchants. I better take Haru and Miko when I get the chance. Uh, Haru, it's me, Jack. Oh, you're here. Come on in. You know, it, it's kind of awkward because, you know, weren't you in the rescue center a few moments ago? Hey, kiddo. Hello. Miko's like, huh? Uh, are you feeling better now? Hi. I gotta hand it to you for coming back in one piece. And it's all because of you and Miko for making the Merry Gun. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you owe me one. So you wanted to see me? Oh yeah, Mika's here, so I wanted to overhaul the Merry Gun and adjust the body connectors. Uh, sure, as you wish. Jack, sit over here and show me your arm. <laughs> I feel sorry for Jack's arm. How many times has a me needle pierced his skin? You know, what's this body connector? Uh, ready? I'm gonna release the safety lock. I'm ready to induce hemostasis. What's hemostasis again? Uh, safety lock off. Hemostasis clear. You can relax now, Jack. Let me check your blood pressure too. Oh, that was Miko. Never mind. Sure. Uh, they look tense. I didn't know it was so difficult to remove the Mary gun. Huh? The hell? What's wrong? Huh? Uh, blood pressure normal. I'll check for clots in the drain pipe. And what is it, Haru? Uh, the compressor isn't optimal. Guess it didn't calibrate too well. Uh, I better replace it. Uh, drain pipe cleansing complete. The cartridge is unused. Hemostatic ampule normal. Hemostatic. We have an applicator to stop any unusual bleeding. We made it from those magnolia leaves. So it prevents me from overbleeding. They really pack thing this with a lot of things. I mean, yeah, you know, you literally spray blood all over the place. I, a human being can lose a lot of blood, but spraying it on people and you know everywhere is kind of big deal. But why are the why are these two so shocked? What what's wrong with the Mary gun? That should do it. Wish we had actual parts and not recyclables, but not much we can do about it. I didn't know there were so many parts involved in making the Mary gun. Thank you. I'll take 
good care of it. Uh, okay, well, we're done. You can go now. If you feel something weird, be sure to let us know. Will do. Thank you again, Haru. Miko. Well, do your best. After all, it's not often you get to protect what's precious to you. I think I'd better leave now, too. See you later. Let's go, Jack. Thank you, Haru. No prob. Did you see Hara's face just now? Huh? I can't believe that old man blushed. <laughs> I've never seen him like that before. Really, I didn't notice at all. Protect what's precious to you. Well, that was quite a treat. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that Miko and Haru have this sort of rivalry. Like one's trying to one up the other. R really? Yes, really. What's up? What's up? All right. Is this it? Um, it's not that expensive to upgrade these things, actually. What do I get for it? Five HP. Oh, you also don't get much for it too. I might do it if I get into Anything trouble, else? especially since I know how these games work, and you're probably gonna get stronger gear dropped on you. So fully maximizing all of the gear we have now might not exactly be ideal. So. I'll probably do the upgrades when I'm actually struggling. All right, let's get to the rescue center. Welcome. Talk? What? You know we've seen you three times today. <laughs> Blood pressure is normal. Looks like the results came back fine, despite your long captivity. I see, that's good to know. I understand how you feel wanting to protect her, but you need to be careful. You could die, you know. It's not only about Alice. I just want to be of use to everyone. Let me give it to you straight. I sense potential in you, so I want you to be more cautious. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is I think this is the first time someone's thought about me like that. What about everyone else? Like Alice? I think even Thumbelina hinted at it. Like Snow White? Finally found another normie like her. I think everyone's thinking about you like this. How dense can you be, Jack? Um, so I went to the Order of the Sun and they're quite unique. Yes, they are. Lady Uhime was really mysterious and Hitsuka sounded pretty mean. But I could tell everyone there admired them, kind of like some religious cult. I see. Well, I won't stop you from going, especially after I urged you to check them out. Miko? I'm sorry, I seem to get emotional when the conversation is about the Order. I've been wondering, why don't you like them? Because she's a woman of... She's a trope of science, and they're the trope of religion. It's not that I don't like them. It's more than I just can't get along with them. Can't get along with them? Yeah, see? She's a researcher. I'm a researcher, so I only accept data I can physically confirm. That's why I look for the truth. I don't really understand them with their evangelism and their baseless admiration of the sun. But isn't it okay as long as there are people out there who can be saved by their words? They cook and trade various products with us. Everything requires cooperative work. That said, I feel like they're gathering believers for labor. Ah, yeah, okay, I, I see. I see her perspective. But if that's what needs to be done to live then then they should just say so and find people to work for them that's my opinion at least also this is like the church asking for volunteers instead of asking for employees like why is it always employees i mean i mean charity work is charity work but people need to eat i i, I see where she's going with this not to mention i'm curious about how they can actually grow food like that in this situation what do you mean by that? No, never mind. Why do I feel like that food thing is gonna come up later? Soylent Green? Well, <laughs> with how questionable that Ohime is, Hitsuka is pretty much the acting leader of the order. If we examine history, all religious orders have someone that acts as a group's backbone. You can't maintain order alone. Someone has to be supporting Ohime and Hitsuka from behind. 
and in complying with that person, whoever has the most charisma is pushed to the leader position. Is that how it works? I'm surprised you have so much historical knowledge. I've just had some time to read the various materials from times past. As far as I know, the order came from nowhere. There's no trace of anyone supporting its beginnings. That's the basis for why they seem suspicious to me. Uh, couldn't you say that they're there because the people are seeking the sun? Technically, or you know, the situation in your inn could have created the order, you know. I suppose the sun was touted as a god by the ancients, so I guess it's universal across ages. Um, but know this, you can't find salvation from the jail through the religion. Welcome. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we know what your stance on everything is now. Why do- why is this here? Oh, because there's a purge thing. Never mind. I'll do this later. Probably off camera. See you. Uh, Blood Weapon Factor has another What's event. Up? Huh? What's the matter, kiddo? Something wrong with the Mary gun? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I was just sort of passing by, that's all. Goofing off, eh? <laughs> Straight to the point. Uh, I'm sorry. You must be busy. I'll get going. Come on, take it easy. I was kicking back a bit too. I've got time to talk. Uh, okay. Come sit down. I'll check your merry gun while we're at it. Th thank you. Show me your arm. Everyone wants to see Jack's arm lately. <laughs> now then, hmm. Looks like the merry gun's okay. That's good. You want to say something, don't ya? Go ahead, spill it. Um, what's your thoughts on Michiru? M Who's Michiru again? Oh, okay, yeah. Michiru? Ah, uh, you mean Ohime? Why do you ask? Miko doesn't seem to like Michiru, so I want... I wanted to ask how you felt about her. Ah, in Miko's case, let's just say it's a woman's intuition. I'm not sure if I follow. Well, you're not a woman. So definitely no woman's intuition for you, right? <laughs> My bad. Mika's a scientist at the core, so she doesn't take kindly to folks harping on about the illogical. But Mika said herself that they support the dawn by growing and cooking food supplies. She has her pride as someone who supports others, so maybe she just looks at them as rivals. Really? Ah, but don't tell Miko what I said. She'd kill me if she found out. Okay. But I have to admit, that order, in particular, Uhime, is shady as hell. I'm sure Miko just feels uneasy about them because she has no definitive evidence against them. Uh, you make it sound like as if she's doubting the order of the sun. I mean, she said it herself. She's doubting the order of the sun. She doesn't like all the religious things and she thinks that the the Order of the Sun is just trying to get workers to grow food or something. Since you're new here, I'm sure you'll be able to see them in Hohimi without bias. Uh, what do you mean by that, Haru? Exactly what I said. Okay, so they have some history. Basically, they have some history. Anyway, I'm done checking your merry gun. Stop by anytime, Jack. You being here gives me a good reason to slack off. Uh, I don't really want to be blamed by it. <laughs> Lighten up, will ya? That sounded as if Haru wanted me to observe the Order of the Sun myself. What's up? See ya! Okay, uh... Back to the rescue Welcome. center? Huh. I have a feeling that I'm supposed to do this between coming and going from the jail. But I just want to get it over with, you know? So I can focus on the jail. Looks like your heart rate is higher than normal. Your urine samples are of concern as well. So basically stay hydrated. Is this a PSA to drink more water? The, does that mean I won't be able to use the Mary gun? <laughs> Your results don't point to that, but your reaction does. Yeah, Th that's the first thing he thought about, not his health. Is that what you're gonna say? You're stressed. I can't believe how much more stressed you are now than when you first arrived. 
Uh, it's not like I know I'm stressed, you know? You know, here's a point. Do you know when you're stressed? You just feel tired, right? But you don't explicitly know if you're stressed. Unbelievable. I understand your stance now that you have the Mary gun, but you need to stay focused. Stay focused? Remember your promise with Haru? The Mary gun was made for the sole purpose of keeping everyone alive. You're not alive for the Mary gun. Hmm, point. You're just in the same way as you're not alive for your job. I think this is just a commentary on working yourself too hard. But this is the only way I can help. This is the only way you can make money. You see, you see the parallels here. I think this is the. I think I can see the parallels. Too serious. You should learn a thing or two from Kaguya. You should really. Uh, you need to relax. Keep this up. Keep up this pace, and you'll just drop. Enjoy life a little. And this is coming from you. Yeah, Miko. Don't give me that smiley face. So you can still make snide remarks. Good, you're excused. Thank you very much, and what is it? Your last name, Ueshima, right? That means you must have memories about your family. It's true that I'm one of the very few here who actually knows their last name, but I don't have any memories of my parents. I suppose my parents died when this place was born. Gomenasai. I'm a bit leery to ask this now, but... Um, so... Ueshima came from... That's the last name of my mentor, the person I admired. What my true last name was isn't of importance now. And I wanted to carry on her will, so I just decided to use her last name as mine. I see. So where is this person now? You know, read the room. She's probably dead. See... She died 15 years ago during a mission to the tower. 15 years ago? How old are you? Jack, don't ask that. Jack, please don't. Okay, he's not. <laughs> you, you already have Thumbelina on your back. Don't get Miko on your back too. I bet you feel bad for asking, but don't. They're, these are just facts. It's a part of Dawn's history now. She must be in pain, especially since she took that person's name. Uh, the professor spoke about it before, but that incident nearly dismantled the thought. Oh, she was part of the expedition. Dr. Ueshima and key members of the Dawn died at the tower, leaving only the professor. Uh, so you've known the professor from that long ago? I was still a child back then. Okay, so maybe not 30. Well, possibly 30. And I only assisted Dr. Uishima with her duties. But since then, other researchers have died one by one. And now I'm the left, the one left to carry the load. I see. Yes, I suppose it would be a lie to say that I've recovered from it already. Especially since you're the only one left. It's only you and the professor, right? So, like, I get the impression that the Dawn was a humongous organization and that incident 15 years ago was not an exaggeration, like the Dawn almost collapsed. Because who, who's actually in the Dawn? Three people plus the Blood Maidens, right? And plus that store clerk girl. So, technically... If the organization was big enough to have multiple researchers, multiple people like the professor, multiple Harus, they must have suffered a really huge blow, you know? Miko. Welcome. Alright, so I left the roof for last because usually th these have, you know, the dramatic. Or Sleeping Beauty. I was expecting dramatic scenery, but whatever. Well... You know, this is dramatic scenery, I guess, for some people. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, what's she doing here? Well, she's standing up, so she... Nah, she's asleep. Uh, seems like she isn't doing anything in particular. Is she just loafing around? Hi there, Sleeping Beauty. What are you doing here? Yeah, she's asleep. <laughs> the weather's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> are you getting some sun? What a... <laughs> smooth, but then again, not smooth. What am I saying? This place doesn't have much weather to begin with. 
<laughs> At least you're being awkward to a girl that isn't even hearing what you're saying. That sounded wor that sounded better in my head. Is she ignoring me? Wait, ignoring me? <laughs> Jack, Jack, calm down. Why is she ignoring me? Did I do something to her? Uh, sorry to bother you. Zzz. <laughs> Don't tell me she's sleeping. She is. What a relief. I thought I did something wrong. Huh, she sure does sleep a lot. I better leave before I wake her up. Hmm. Shoot, did I wake her? Ah. Sorry, you were sleeping, weren't you? Hi, hi. Uh, I see. Do you come here often? <laughs> you just replaced one cheap conversation starter with another. Mm. <laughs> so I guess I just came up the right time. Did you sleep well? Hi, hi. Her face isn't happy. I guess she's kind of bothered that you saw her sleeping. I see. That's good. I better not bother her for too long if she was having a good rest just now. Well, I'll be going. Oh, but make sure you go back inside before you catch a cold. Hi. She's a unique one, all right. She was sleeping so soundly. She was really cute, too. Uh, well, I agree. Kind of agree on that. I woke up, and there, Jack. My prince? Whoa, boy. That was a semi andere face if I ever saw one. And no, she has no thing. All right. Oh, come on. Now the general store has an event. <laughs> What's your name again? Clara, right? Why well, I gotta run? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not using that voice. Are you going to Haru's place? Uh, figured my assistant duties needed answering to. Gets pretty busy when you got two jobs. Oh, well, good luck. By the way, is Haru like your dad or something? <laughs> Why is Jack awkward in every single way imaginable? What? Whoa. Of course not. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Why is she blushing? Because probably Haru's her own nation or something. Uh, I was an orphan and boss picked me up and took me under his care. Yeah, oh, big brother vibes. Huh, well, I guess Haru has a soft side. I learned how to fidget with gadgets, making chump change, fixing things in the city. But that wasn't enough for me to buy food, so I was a bad egg, stealing and things. Also, you have the, the, the dawn symbol here. Does everyone have this kind of uh, design? Also, I'm guessing you're not a blood maiden, right? I see. Then one day I tried to snatch some cash from the boss and he caught me red-handed, GG. Yeah, Haru doesn't sound like the type to let something like that slide. Right? He lectured me, then let me go, but I was so mad that I kept trying to steal money from him. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, right? And you were caught each time, right? Yeah, that was humiliating. After all that, he decided to bring me in here. I'm surprised you kept approaching him, especially with how gruff he looks. Well, I just thought he could do anything- Wow. Okay. He could do anything he wants with me. Sure. Huh? What was that again? Uh, nothing. Clara must like really like Haru. This is kind of an understatement. Yeah, better not tell boss what I said. <laughs> of course I won't. Welcome. I don't think- Come again! Saying those words are very safe to anyone, you know? Welcome. All right, what does the order have to say? Oh, this must have opened up when it was suggested I check these guys out myself, I guess? The Order of the Sun. I guess it's best for me to see for myself what they're about. But it feels almost like I came on to spy to them. I hope they don't chase me out like last time. Ah. Wow, you keep ru like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people here. You keep running into Michiru. Uh, hello. What's your voice again? I forgot. Hi, Jack. Came to visit? Well, yes. Um, have you always been cooperating with the Don like this? Pretty direct. Uh, we 
we got a message. A message? Oh, I need to show you something. Over here, here. Kochi, kochi. Whoa, okay. Tsuka won't like seeing me holding hands with her like this. Here. This place is. Look, cabbage, carrots. Uh, I think those are radishes. Oh, and look at all these vegetables. I've never seen so many in my life. Everyone must have worked hard to grow them, so you share them with the dawn too? Correct, but we can grow more if the sun comes out. Uh, the sun? I've never seen it before. I'm sure you will soon. You're going to bring it to us. Ominous. I, uh, that, uh, I don't feel comfortable with that. Me? <laughs> it's a secret. You just said it out loud. How can it be a secret? Jack, do you like the beginning or the end of the story? Story? I like the beginning. It makes me excited to see what's gonna happen next. But before you can start a story, you need to close out the old one. Profound. That's true. Dear sister, are you here? <laughs> That'll be our little secret. You go home quietly or else she's gonna be even very mad. Okay. Damn, this is weird. She, look what I found. Lady Michiro, please don't call me that. Was there somewhere else here? Michiro was talking with the veggies. I asked him to grow bigger. <laughs> Looks like I got away in the nick of time. Did Hitsuko just call her sister? The plot thickens. And now we're here. Looks like you're able to be out and about. So do you feel okay using the Mary gun? Yeah, I think it's working great. Well, that's good to hear. You do come by here periodically, so I'm sure it will be fine, but be careful. Understood. Um, by the way, what is it? I went to the Order of the Sun and saw their fields. Fields? Yeah. I'm surprised how they can actually grow so many things in the jail. Of course they would grow. There's no sun. Huh? But most vegetation requires sunlight to grow. The vegetation in turn feeds the chickens and cows. Whether we like it or not, we have to live in unison with what the jail can provide. That means... I'm quite pleased at how sharp you are. I don't need to be so blunt about things. I want you to keep this to yourself. I'd hate to see anyone here fold under the truth. What do you mean? What, what, what truth? We have to live in unison with what the jail can provide. Most vegetation requires sunlight to grow. The vegetation in turn feeds the chickens and the cows. So something else is powering the vegetables. One other thing. It's said that continued intake of the jail can adversely affect one's mind. Are we eating Marchin... Marching veggies then? Is, is that what's being implied? Or are they being watered with marching blood? I, I, I don't know what's being implied, but it seems to be disgusting. Uh, remember, that's also why we're trying to escape as soon as possible. Those vegetables were made by the jail. Yeah, they're just jail Welcome. veggies. More event? Come again. According to Miko, this place isn't fit to grow food. How should I bring this up? Do they even know about it in the first place? I'm pretty sure they do. You know how religious orders have their own secrets and stuff. It's probably one of their secrets. You again. Hello, Hetsuka. I can't let you see Lady Michiru now. Um, I actually wanted to speak with you today. Me? Yes, I wanted to ask about the crops you have here. Is there a problem? This isn't gonna be easy. You know, just say it. Yeah, but I need to ask. Is it true that the produce is part of the jail? So it is true. Why are you growing food that could adversely affect the minds of the people who eat them? That, that, that's, a, that's a pretty loaded statement, but okay. Let's, go, let's get straight to it then. Let me ask you this. What else would we eat to survive? Huh, as I thought, you ignorant shackle child. I may be ignorant, but that's why I want to know. What purpose is there for you to know? Hey, no fighting, you two. Sister, Michiru. She always seems to appear out of nowhere. 
I saw you coming, Jack. Uh, hello. Before going any further, I need you to stop calling her by her name. It won't be taken fondly by our believers. Uh, I'm sorry, but he called her sister again. Gee, he's gonna bring the son to us, a dear friend we've been waiting for. What did she say again? If that's what you think, so be it. I haven't heard you say that for some time now. <laughs> She's a good child. Jack, was it? I will allow you to come here so long as you're by yourself. Uh, what changed? You just got the material approval and suddenly I'm fine, is that it? Thank you very much. But I need you to promise me that you will not disclose what you see here or do here. <laughs> Our little secret! Understood. Appreciate it. Welcome. Come again. The plot really thickens. Welcome. Come again. Like the plot is so thick. I'm pretty sure I wasn't meant to do all of those uh, episodes in succession. But I'm really happy I did. At least I have more context, right? Going forward. Also, I really enjoyed the talking with the girls basically because you know more context uh it's looking like i'm liking thumbie more and more but there are other rooms that i haven't seen uh, i mean we haven't really gotten to know kaguya for instance because you know aside from she's lazy and i think there's a couple more rooms that we don't know the girls to yet so i'm reserving judgment but for now thumbelina is uh pretty up there if not Thumbelina, uh, it's probably gonna be Alice because I don't like... Like, if I choose someone else, I don't want the feeling that... You know, Alice was with us forever and then suddenly, hey, here comes another girl. I'll see you later, Alice. Like, th that just doesn't sit right with me. Well, anyway, unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. And I have to leave this episode on a purely... Uh, story driven uh, note but at least we're done with it now uh, I'm gonna be doing some stuff off camera like maybe raising their affection and whatnot and trying to purge out for myself and for the next episode I guess I'll just showcase the new area that we're heading off to and maybe some more uh, city jail areas that I city streets areas that I haven't shown because in the other episode, we saw that there's still City Streets Area 6, and I'm not even done with 4. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get through all of that, and that's going to be for the next episode. So, if you're liking the content so far and want to be informed of the next one, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.